Hi, everyone. It's Michael Tiny Saul. It is Monday, May 2nd at 10.35 p.m. This is Forex Trading Analysis for Tuesday, May 3rd, 2011. Before we begin with the analysis, I just have an announcement. I made it on the stock trading video also. So this is my blog. By 9 a.m. Eastern, every day, if something in either of my videos change, I will be posting an update there. This is an idea I had for the newsletter I'm going to be doing when my site finally launches uh, to do a 9 a.m. update on a private blog community that's going to be part of the website. So until that happens, and while I'm doing these YouTube videos, I have to have a fail-safe put in in case things change. Now, with Forex, it didn't really matter because the euro triggered off Sunday night, and I've said it before in videos that I, I don't like taking triggers on Sunday evening unless it's something that's really compelling. But I wasn't going to back out of the fact that I bracketed this candle on Thursday. So from now on, the rule is the triggers are good for the session only, unless otherwise stated. So uh, if there are triggers that are given out, it's only going to be for that session and we're going to call that session ending at uh, let's see it ends at five o'clock okay so it ends at five o'clock that day eastern and then that's it all right unless otherwise stated that it's going to be a good to good till canceled a trigger now i'm only doing this for management of the watch list this is uh, you know you should read the disclaimers again these are not recommendations but i have to really really get down a pattern of how I'm going to do this so this is practice for me and I want to make sure that I am being honest with the results and I am being totally transparent okay uh, there are plenty of people that unfortunately do the good old well you should have known and well you should have done this and and that's fine that's fine for them okay that's not me. I always hated that. I never did it, and I'm never going to do it. Okay, so uh, that's the deal. And if you don't want to go to the blog, if you don't want to take these trades, I it, it's fine, okay? I'm just doing this for the video. I don't know what your personal financial situation is, and therefore I can't make recommendations for you because I don't know your whole story, okay? So that's the announcement. Now let's get to the analysis. Now the euro formed a beautiful doji candle, and uh, this is three times it's poked out the upper Keltner channel, and it's rejected that poke out all three times. So I'm going to watch the euro for a correction down. The low of Monday was 147.62. So we're going to use 147.60 as the entry, and we're going to use the highs so far, which is 148.30 as a stop. So I'll be right back, and everything will be posted nice and shiny. Okay, and here it is, nice and shiny for you. 147.60 entry, 148.42 stop, 30 pip move, trail stops, half off plus 100 pips. That is the euro. Here is the Aussie dollar. The Aussie dollar has been outside of its counters, and then you can see here it formed this little reversal candle right at uh, this number. And then so far it's been trying to pull in, but it looks like we may have missed the trigger here. So the trigger is, let's see, 0918, yeah, it's right around there now. I'm going to give this one day is the yen now the yen is interesting here because it is continuing to just kind of slide down this lower counter channel here but if we throw up a fibonacci grid okay you can see that we're right at the 50 percent retracement of this swing up so if this can get a bounce okay we're watching the midline here but if this cracks here we could be in for a move down to the 62% retracement but it's no trigger here but this is an interesting pair in my opinion the volatility is drying up except for this wacko day on FOMC day last week but otherwise it's been drying up as is the range so this one has really got my attention 
for the time being because I think a move is brewing there. Here is the Swissy. The Swissy is just sitting outside its Keltner channel trying to get back in. Nothing yet. Here's the Looney, and the Looney is just in no man's land still. Here is the Euro Pound Cross. Okay, the Euro Pound Cross still trying to attempt a breakout here. I mean, it's just kind of sitting here and and not doing much. So, and I, I don't like dealing with these dull kind of markets unless it's really showing um, really showing a move down to equilibrium like this triangle was. Okay, so I'm going to let that one go. Here's the Euro Swiss. Nope. Here is the Euro Aussie. Nope. Here is the Euro Kiwi. Nope. Here is the pound. Uh, pounds pulling in after the push out outside the Keltner here. But uh, this was a relatively large candle. So can watch 50% of this. It's potential resistance. 65.48 area. I'm sorry, it's potential support. Potential support. Here is the pound kiwi. Oh, these charts are brutal with the updating here. Okay, the pound kiwi showing some nice volatility contraction here. Okay, so this is what's known as a mini coil right here. And it's sitting right on its midline. The problem is, is this inside candle has not yet formed. So, this one is my number one cross for Wednesday. I'm going to see what this does Tuesday, and then I'm going to probably come back with a Forex update early on Tuesday, especially if this forms an inside candle, because this will be uh, on expansion watch for me. All right? So, I want to see if, the, if this forms the inside day here. could be a nice pattern here. Nice contraction and volatility pattern. Here, here's the 60-minute chart. You see the ADX is getting low. So if if that's the case here, this one could be really ready for range expansion. And which way? Yes, one way or the other. Here is the Euro Yen. Okay, nothing here. Swissy Yen, looks like it's coiling. Looks like it wants to go higher here. Consolidation here. I mean, this one could be okay. Once again, let's see what it does on Tuesday. This one could definitely be one to watch for Wednesday. Here's the Aussie Yen. Okay, here's the Pound Yen. Here is the Pound Swiss. Okay, it looks like it wants that lower counter channel. Here's the Aussie Swiss. Uh -uh. Here's the Kiwi Swiss. Nope. Here's the Looney Swiss. Nope. Here's the Kiwi Cad. Kiwi Looney. Nope. And here's the Aussie Looney. Start to pull in here. You know, this would have tested this reversal candle, but this actually held. All right, you can see the high up there was uh, 40, uh, 443, and this high was only, wow, it really tested it, but it held. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Wow, took a little uh, tweezer top here. So let's see what this does as far as a pull in. Okay, that's it. I will be back early Wednesday, I'm sorry, early Tuesday with Wednesday's analysis because there are a couple that I'm really watching and uh, that may trigger off in the overnight session. Okay, so that's it. Don't forget, check the blog by 9 a.m. to see if there are any changes. If there aren't any changes, there won't be an update. Okay, that's it. Have a great trading day on Tuesday.